We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full-blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Okay, so I have our first little stack of books. Oh, I need to get, read it out watching Little House on the Prairie for the first time because her bestie's going to be having a Little House on the Prairie themed party by the creek. Savannah's really excited about that. This is exactly what I mean by life is full of lessons so we live and we learn. There's so many things in these episodes that give me so much pause. <laughs> So many conversations to be had and lessons to be learned. I love us. I love my friends. So she sent me this information. Just a little fun fact. A couple years ago, the American Library Association stripped Laura Ingalls Wilder's name from the literary award uh, that bared her name due to how she described Native Americans and people of color in her books. Now the award is called Children's Literature Legacy Award. Some of the text was changed in books. Others say she was just writing from the perspective in the time she lived and how many other books from authors in that time did the same thing and should be used as teaching moments instead of change. Interesting times. I feel like we've been heavy into history lately just because of all the things, not just because, but all the things that are going on has really uprooted a lot of additional resources when it comes to history so we have been all the way engaged the boys are currently um walking their way through the emancipation proclamation and abraham lincoln and such um on their own because unschool savannah and i are going to be talking all things like the birth of america and the westward expansion so yeah Life is full of lessons. <laughs> I need to get in a little bit of homeschool planning because yes, we unschool, but I like to plan a lot. <laughs> okay. I need to work on our printables a bit because I'm going to be posting a few new ones to our patron fam. Put the next episode on the list. Come over here. What's the next episode on the list? What's the next episode? Are you liking Little House on the Prairie? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next episode country girls town party mom's holiday Wait, no, the, yeah. <laughs> okay so her bestie sent her a list of episodes from little house on the prairie to watch so she's watching through a few of them so she could be nice and ready for the party put on some mascara so i don't look quite so scary eyes a little brighter ready for the day a lot of like little miniature meetings with the team aka brian and our brand manager and um my in loves because they are my sounding board for all things creative in falco family life so we have a bunch of little meetings today uh and while we do that i really want to talk about sacrifices like the sacrifices we make to homeschool this is going to be the third time that i have chatted about this on our channel the first time being i'll link them both i talked a lot about um, the major sacrifice that we made to homeschool, which was sacrificing my income. The second time around, I talked about sacrificing a business, uh, my photography business. But this time around, we are further along in our process of building our businesses and raising a family <laughs> around homeschool and life. Yeah, I want to talk about sacrifices we made to homeschool since we are all in the um, structure and organizing phase of our Falco family business right now. All right, we're working on our book stacks right now. I'm trying to just get more efficient at getting my planning done. I share an iPad with my oldest and this is how I get all my planning done. Um, I plan using my printables, the same ones I've used for so many years, but now we use them on the iPad so that I can plan things out as efficiently as possible and then print them out for my record. Missing paper. 
over. I was looking for the. <laughs> Boo brought me some munch so that I can keep going. I'm working my way through. Um, what am I working my way through? <laughs> I'm working my way through. Um, what am I working my way through? <laughs> I'm trying to homeschool plan for the week without it taking me forever. So he brought me lunch so I could focus. What are we doing? All right, so I just finished my plans and I'm going to take a picture so that I can share with our friends. It's like the best accountability ever. <laughs> One of our patrons, fam, just left a comment on the video we posted yesterday. Beautiful family, y'all are doing a lot. I feel like it's a lot. Do you feel like it's a lot? <laughs> it's a lot. But that's okay. As long as my priorities are straight and we stay focused on what matters the most, then we're all for it. So we don't mind hard work. It's just that we gotta make sure our priorities straight. We did two videos already about the sacrifices we make to homeschool. And I think this is gonna be like our third edition. So we started off by sacrificing an additional income. Then we moved on to sacrificing our business because I was a photographer before. We have a video all about it, all about my feelings at that time. But basically, we had decided to homeschool and I, I got to the point where I felt like I was trading in, you know, one thing for another. And so all of our, all of my focus and energy was on building this photography business to replace this income that I had lost by choosing a homeschool. But it wasn't serving homeschool well because instead of being able to do what I envisioned us to do in homeschool, I was just putting forth all of my effort and energy into our photography business. So at that point, I just had to let that go and know that, you know, this is a sacrifice. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not letting go of this to replace it with something else. And this is not, this does not mean you don't need to do things that you need to do to make sure that you can make the ends meet. But at the same time, I just felt like if the Lord asked me to sacrifice this thing, you know, He would provide. So I feel like I'm in the same stage where we are like structuring Patreon and other parts of the Falco family as a business now. Um, in order to make these films, in order to create this lifestyle of living and learning. Um, and I feel like I'm in that same place of like another marker in our journey um, where it starts with sacrificing, you know, for homeschool. I'm getting chatty. But anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Do you feel like that, Brian? I feel like I've sacrificed a lot. <laughs> I've sacrificed yeah, it, it all. It has. It felt like, but. <laughs> I really do believe that sacrifice is the way to living a full life. So right now, I just feel like all along the way, um, we are like eight years into homeschool and along the way, I think once I sat down photography, I kind of picked up YouTube and Instagram and there were times where I started to grow in those spaces but I realized it wasn't right. Because again, like the goal was to sacrifice and make sure that I kept our priorities straight. And so now I feel like we're at a different stage in building our business. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like more permissions to go ahead and share more now because I feel like our priorities are straight and I'm a lot less vulnerable to distraction than I was in the very first years. Um, of homeschool and I've talked about this in many different ways throughout our channel but I guess I feel like all this work that we're putting in it's okay now because I feel like we have very clearly defined priorities and a place for everything and so yeah sacrifice <laughs> like it's been all about sacrificing for this homeschool life but it's worth it and it, it takes some patience and long suffering <laughs> sometimes <laughs> But I'm excited. I'm excited for all that we are sharing right now, for building our business back up as the Falco family. Um, recently, we have just started to get into, you know, figuring out how we want to fund our films and things like that. So this one's been helping me stay on task today. So let's talk about 
these sacrifices that you whispered over there was a ton. All of them? <laughs> I feel like after I did the second sacrifices video where I talked about sacrificing like this, you know, idea of a big photography business, after that, um, I really got heavy in, hev more heavily into YouTube and Instagram. And there have been many opportunities along the way for me to like grow in those spaces as a business. And each time I've had to, you know, choose to stay focused on what our goals were and not be distracted by those things. So that's a lot of the reason why I haven't done you know, brand deals and uh, why I don't operate or function in Instagram like, you know, most influencers would be considered. But now I feel like it's a different time where um, our priorities are kind of in order. And Brian, y'all know he's been helping me out with Instagram. And the other day, All things social. <laughs> the other day, um, we really talked about followers. It was a post that I wrote up on Instagram a little bit ago about followers and how the most important followers in our lives are the kids. Mm -hmm. And so it's always been a struggle. Brian's always on me about it because he doesn't he doesn't want it to come off like. I'm always complaining about followers. It potentially making it seem like I actually do care, but I do care. I mean, I care about growth and I care about all of this work and effort that we're putting in, um, having something to show that it's, it's, it's worth it or it's paying off. And so when you don't get, you know, paychecks or when you don't get a tremendous amount of followers, like it does bug you, it does bother you, but I, you know, chose to stay focused on what it is that our path was. And sometimes it's just not the right time to do things. And I feel like um, now jumping back into Instagram this time around and trying to do better with that. Um, I want to be a part of Instagram, but I wanted to do it in the way that is authentic to who we are. And we've done the video all about... Uh, relationship goals and I've talked many times on end about how important like the quality of our relationships are over quantity so the other day I told Brian while he was working on Instagram um, that I think we should just go in and unfollow everybody and he <laughs> he was like what are you doing <laughs> It's not like we follow way, a whole bunch of people already. So unorthodox to me. I, just I know. Okay, but the okay. exact opposite of what. What I, I know, I, I know. Say. But I said this before on a vlog a long time ago, uh, a long time ago that my goal really is for us to, you know, create our own rules. And for me, I just felt like I wanted to follow the people that I've been following, but because there's so many, like. I'm just not taking you can't the time keep to in contact. Yeah, like I'm not taking the time to really focus in on the quality of those relationships. So my plan was to go ahead and screenshot everybody I was following <laughs> with the intent to go back through them and take my time and follow them one by one she and really like so reach out and comment. I know it's a lot of work. <laughs> like so much work. I know it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Tell me it's not worth it. Lately, like in the last week or so, we've had some really incredible, I've had some really wonderful moments like with people that I've found online mm -hmm. um, that I have been following for a while, but it was just getting away from me being able to connect with them. So in the last week, I was on a live with Erica. I'm doing another live with another friend, but I just need those relationships to be authentic. Not that other relationships are not authentic, but... I need them to be more about quality and less about quantity. So um, instead of, and I, I, I guess you run the risk of make of someone feeling like they unfollowed you, uh, but that was not the goal. The goal was to take my time and go back through these people and really connect with them and begin to build friendships. So poor Brian. <laughs> He looked at me like I was so crazy when I asked him to go and unfollow everybody. And then Instagram tried to stop me. Yeah, that was weird. I guess that. they have a thing I didn't know. You can only unfollow so many people at a time. Yeah, you can. I guess because they think you're a bot. So we have our list 
and we've been working our way through our list very slowly but just being very intentional about the relationships that we're building because these algorithms just make it almost impossible for you to really stay connected to who you to who you want to. I think that he's coming around. He's starting to see that it was a good idea. So I guess that's my was my next sacrifice is a business that I could have b built over the years with our homeschool lives. Um, but that was because I knew that there was something better for us and more authentic to us. And so now that we're ready to jump back in, we're very clear about our priorities and such. And now I'm talking a lot and they're gonna be like, ooh, he's looking at you like he loves you. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm supposed to look. At me. At me, okay. keep looking at me. Anyway, the followers that are most important to us are our three, right? But we also love y'all. I have one last thing on my list to do, which is to handle these printables and uh, get a post out to my patrons. And that's that. I don't know, any more sacrifices we make to homeschool? Uh, I'm about to sacrifice and go make these kids' lunch. <laughs> Yeah, that's our little spiel, our third edition of the sacrifices we make for this homeschool life. Let me know how you guys are doing, what are some of the sacrifices that you've made and how are you faring with them. Even though they're very difficult sacrifices, I feel like they're 100% worth it. They will be down the road. So I'm going to get back to it and um, spend the rest of the day with my booze. I said to myself I was going to stop touching my hair, but it's hard. There's always like one thing that you do when you you film is something that you really wish you didn't do. <laughs> Mine is touching my hair. Thanks for hanging out with us for at least the first portion of today. And remember that life is so very full of lessons, so we live and we learn. Don't forget to subscribe!